Hey YouTube, um, I'm just going to demonstrate my tutorial slash guide on how to successfully RNG or breed shiny Pokemon in Diamond, Pearl, or Platinum version. Now first off, before you even start this glitch, or exploit rather, make sure you follow these seven steps. First, know your ID and SID, meaning secret ID. Now if you don't know your secret ID, you need a non-chain, non-bred shiny that you've caught, and then go through a long process, which I may make a video of later, or make sure you ask someone on a message board or forum, and they, sh with AR, PokeSave, and they should be able to find it for you. Um, number two, make sure you have a level 52 poke Pokemon in your first slot, and make sure you have a repel. Uh, this makes it a lot easier um, to RNG, so it's recommended a lot. So, number three, only five Pokemon are allowed in the party when RNGing, and no more, no less. Number four, have no Pokemon in the daycare. Number five. You have to have the Poketech apps number 5, which is the happiness checker. Or, uh, 5 is the status po uh, of your Pokemon, sorry about that. 6 is the happiness checker, and 15 is the coin flip application. Number 6, set your DS clock to another clock. In this case, I use my computer clock. And number 7, make sure you have app number 5, the status of your Pokemon when you save. So once you have all these steps done, then turn to the turn to on your DS. And as you can see I have my five Pokemon here. It's recommended also you have a Macargo in here for faster uh, hatching and then the two parents and a flyer. And then the level 52 Raticate up there. So I'm using my Rayquaza to fly up to the survival area. You should then head west to Route 225. Once you're in the grass, make sure that you have RNG Reporter open, which is this. Now, if you don't have RNG Reporter, I highly recommend to check the description on the right. And it should take you to a link like this. Now here's a download, just download the current version, and once you've done that, then you take out the RNG reporter. Now as you can see here, my clock says 9.38 p.m. My clock on my DS is 9.38 p.m. So basically what you want to do here, keep in mind you have app number 5 up. What you want to do is wait till it gets to a new minute, in this case, 8, 9.39, which it just did. So once you see it did that, quickly save your game. It's always, always save your game on the newest minute right when it comes up. And soft reset. And also keep note of the time, alright? Just remember that, for example, in my case, just remember it was 9.39 p.m. Load it up as fast as you can is recommended. Hit continue. Now go up to the RNG reporter. Hit DPPT seed finder. This will find your shiny seed. Go to the second tab, find initial seed by stats. Input the month, day, hour, and minute, which in my case will be August 29th, so 8, 29, 
hour is 9, so that is 21, and it was 39 is when I saved and click continue, so 39. So now that you have that in, just put level 52 in because you know it's going to be level 52. Go down to your DS, go to your bay. Use repel. Oh. Use your repel, and then also if you run, if you run and you don't find a Pokemon with with a repel, then just use another one. It's fine. So you run around, wait for something here to show up. Still waiting. All right, there it is. Now you find a banette, for example. So you go up. Usually in the day, it's Raticates or Feroes, but anyways, you go up. You go down to Banette, there it is, and you catch the Banette. In this case, I'll just throw a Master Ball at it. Now what you want to do is, once you catch the Pokemon, you input the nature, the characteristic, and the stats of it. Which shouldn't seem too hard. Check the status. Here it is, summary. As you can see, it is relaxed and it's mischievous. So you go on up, go down to relaxed, go down to mischievous. Level 52, and then you input the stats, so let me input them here. 29, Alright, so there's the stats. Everything, when you think everything's in line, you could just hit back on your DS, hit back again, and now go up, and you click find. You should find one of these seeds. You go up to method now. Method, this is where you could mess up, but it really isn't a big problem. Um, for You'd either go to DPPT, Egg PID Normal, or Egg PID Nat International. Now, if you have two English Pokemon from the US, you'd go to Normal. They, that's the parents, so you'd go to Normal. If you go to International, you'd have to have at least one parent who is a different is from a different nation. For example, the ditto I have, the nationality is Japan. So I have a ditto and a Glisker that I want to breed a shiny Gligar. That's in my party. So I hit international. It's recommended that you get a uh, a different ditto from a different uh, country because if you do that, you usually end up with a higher chance and it's easier to get a shiny. So, anyways, once you do that. Everything's all lined up. You input your ID, secret ID, and you hit the shiny only box. You then go down to generate. And here, you should see a list of all the natures here that you could have. Keep in mind an Everstone on your ditto that that's not necessary for, for the uh, natures. But anyways, here's an, all the natures I could choose from. Now, this is it for part one. Part two will come up. Uh, just click part two for a continuation. Thanks.